Welcome to the case study Time Variant Traffic Simulation where this tool of the open source application Netoplan will be explained. In a real world environment, network conditions vary during each operation according to different phenomena failures in nodes and links, establishment of virtual circuits or variation in traffic volumes are some examples. In this case, users could be interested in analyze how their networks can react to those changes and how their designs are consequently adapted for it. This post-analysis tool simulates the network operation where traffic demands volumes vary with time according to a user-defined pattern. It started to evaluate the performances of filtering or user-defined schemes that react to traffic variation that is, traffic rerouting schemes, on demand capacity provisioning schemes, even adding new links, etc. Here, collected statistics are referred to the average network state during the simulation, link capacities, utilization, protection degrees. First, to use this tool, open it to plan. After open it to plan, click on Tools and then click on Time Variant Traffic Simulation. As we can see, this window is divided into two sections like shoulder tools in Netoplan. The left section is used to visualize, load and save our network design. Here the simulation can be controlled and the right section contains the other functionalities of the tool. To begin, for this simulator, it's necessary to load a topology with traffic, with traffic demons. Uh, to do this, we click on this button. And if we select a design with those uh, traffic demons, for example, this network design, and click on Open, appear this error. So we will load another network design. In this case, we select this network design that is, it, it, it has the necessary inputs of the tool. Click on open and it appears the network design in this panel. The view current step tab contains several sub tabs that allows the user to consult many parameters and information about the network. For example, in this network sub tab, it appears the network design name, uh, description of this network design, many attributes and metrics about topology and link, traffic, routing and resilience information. In other sub-tabs like nodes, links, demands, we can see here how this network design has traffic demands that is the necessary inputs of the simulator and all these parameters appear in grey because this cannot be modified by the user. The offline network design tool is responsible for this function and these parameters can be modified there. To see more information about all these items view the user's guide or video tutorial about offline network design in the website. Now by clicking this tab, the execution control panel appears. Here we can modify simulation parameter, it carries a self-explanatory description. Obviously depending on their values, the simulation statistic will change. For example, refresh time parameter controls the output of the simulation controller. We are going to modify it by double clicking in its value and introduce another value, for example 2, and click on enter. When we run the simulation, every 2 seconds the simulation control panel will be refreshed. Also we can modify another simulation parameters. Uh, in this case we are going to modify disable statistics parameters to enable compilation of general statistics. So rewrite here false and click on enter. Furthermore we can fix other parameters like allow six traf carried traffic 
that indicates whether or not traffic may be greater than the offer when, for some demon, allowing over subscription indicate whether or not links may carry more traffic than their capacity, omit protection segment that remove protection segment from the network plan to free their reserve bandwidth, uh, sim events and sim time parameters allow users to set time to stop the simulation depending on the total number of events or a fixed time. Um, start time parameters set a time in hours to start the simulation. Start weekday parameters set a uh, weekday to start the simulation. Untime granularity in seconds fix the minimum time between two events. Here there are traffic changes along the time and time granularity in seconds parameter sets the time between traffic changes. After setting parameters the next step is load two necessary algorithms an event uh, generator and an event processor. The event generator is in charge of modifying the current traffic volume per demand at periodic intervals while the event processor or allocation offering takes other actions like uh, add remove links, reroute traffic demands and so on. So now we will explain the simulator lifecycle. The architecture of the simulator is based on the well-known discrete event simulation paradigm. The, net the network operation is modeled as a discrete sequence of events in time. Each event occurs at a particular instant in time and marks a change of state in the system. Between consecutive events, no change in the network occurs. Thus, the simulation can directly jump in time from one event to the next. So, at its temporal instant t, kernel requests traffic for this time to uh, the traffic chain generator. This event generator sends new traffic demands to kernel. Then kernel calls the allocation authoring with the new traffic and the allocation authoring uh, takes some actions and when these actions are performed kernel update the network, the network state and collect the statistic and finally advance the clock when you need and start again the cycle. We need to plan again. Now we are going to load both authoring. So in traffic chain generator tab click on load button to select a directory to load a class file or jar file. In this case we select built-in examples jar file and click on open. Click on this drop down list and select an event generator. In this case we select basic traffic change generator. Here it appears a description of the authoring and input parameters, the name, the value and the descriptions. For the moment we leave default values and repeat the operation with the allocation offering. Click on load button to select a class file or jar file. In this case we select this jar file with built-in examples. Click on open and in the drop-down list select this uh, algorithm. This algorithm allocates the traffic over the existing routes. Link over subscriptions may happen and this offering doesn't have parameters as we can see here. Now let's start the simulation. To do this we focus on simulation controller panel. We can start the simulation without more by clicking run button or run it step by step by clicking step button. Now we click on run button. After a few seconds setting refresh time parameter it appears information about the simulation. For example, the current simulation time, the current CPU time, the new traffic volumes, 
the traffic volume for every route in every instant simulation etc we can stop the simulation to continue it later by clicking pause and continue button or stop completely by clicking the stop button and this text box allows apply the refresh parameter if we disable the button we see how the panel no longer refreshes every two seconds we enable again the button and now we click on pause and continue button now with the simulation in pause we click on view current step tab and for example view demand step here we can see the current network state uh, click on continue button and after a few seconds click again on pause button and we can see how traffic demands are changing with the simulation click again in continue button we can see here changes now we click on simulation report tab and by clicking update button appear some metrics characterizing the evolution of the network during the simulation many metrics uh, number of nodes, average number of links, average oversubscribed traffic or many metrics by clicking viewing navigator all this information can be shown in the web browser if we click on continue button and again Impulse, and now we click on update button information is refreshed another metrics appear here at any time during the simulation if we want to save the current network state as a network plan we can do it by clicking this button we are going to save our design Selecting a directory and introduce a name. For example, uh, three days, two hours, 55 minutes, and click on save. Design saved successfully. And finally, we click on view reports tab. Similarly to the reporting tool, into other tools like offline network design here users can select a report to apply to the network state uh, by clicking this load button select a jar file or class file built-in examples in this case click on open and in this drop down list we can select uh, any report for example report topology Here it appears uh, report descriptions and the input parameters for this report but in this case this report doesn't have input parameters. After that if we click on show button the report information is shown in the bottom part here. Users can see this information in a web browser by clicking View Navigator button. This action is the same that saving the this, this current network design and apply a report using offline network design tool. After this, if we want to start a new simulation, we can do it by clicking Reset button and click on Yes and the simulation could be a start again. To see more information about reports, view user's guide of Net2Plan or video tutorial about reports in the website visiting net2plan.com.